Hello everybody, my name is Carmen Dellutri and I want to thank you for watching uh, our series of videos and welcome you to Dellutri Law Group University. Today we're talking about IRAs and bankruptcy. An IRA is an individual retirement account. An IRA is specifically protected under Florida law and federal law from your creditors. Now here's why I wanted to talk about IRAs today. A lot of people when they get in financial trouble, they look toward the biggest source of income or revenue that they may have. But once they exhaust their uh, wages and once they've exhausted their savings accounts, they look towards their retirement plans, either IRAs or 401ks. If you have an IRA, that money is protected from your creditor's claims, pure and simple. If, in other words, if I sued you and I got a judgment against you and I came after your IRA, you can take it and go, I'm sorry, you can't touch that. It's not available for creditors. It's exempt, which means it's protected, pure and simple. The problem we run into is when people go to their IRAs, take that money out, use it, and then all of a sudden, now they want to file bankruptcy. Well, they may be excluded from filing bankruptcy because of the amount of money they took out of their IRA. Once you take that money out of your IRA, it's no longer protected, and creditors can seize it. So think about this. You call Merrill Lynch and you say, hey, I need 50000 out of my IRA. You put it in your bank account, and all of a sudden, a money judgment hits. Your 50000 gets garnished as a result of a $100,000 judgment you received. That money's gone because it's no longer protected once it's taken out of the IRA. Now, here's the difference. Let's say you file a bankruptcy, and 30 days later, you go and you ask the judge to say, hey, judge, I need to take money out of my IRA in a Chapter 13. The judge can let you take that money out because it was exempt on the day you filed. Now, of course, I don't like my clients having to do that, but sometimes emergencies call for it. But you're better off claiming the exemption on the day you file bankruptcy, and then if you ever need the money later, hopefully not, but if you do, it will be available to you. Now, you're still subject to the 10% penalty as well as paying income tax on that money, but it's a whole lot better than losing it to a creditor when you didn't have to in the first place. I hope this helped. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information on this topic or any others, please feel free to contact us for a free 30-minute consultation.